Hello, I am Rajesh Kumar. As in previous lecture, we have discussed about uh, mole concept, dimensional analysis, and in this lecture, we are going to discuss study about stochometric and stochometric calculations. The word stochometry is derived from the two Greek words, that is stochion, meaning element, and metrion, meaning measure. Stochometry thus deals with the calculation of mass, sometimes volume also, of reactant and products in a chemical reaction. Let us know about what information is available from the balance chemical equation of a given reaction. Example, combustion of methane, a balance equation is given below, like CH4 plus O2 gives twice of CO2 plus twice of H2O. In this reaction, methane, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water all are present in gaseous form as indicated by the letter small g. Here, methane and oxygen called reactants and the carbon dioxide and water called products. All reactants and products are given in the above reaction, it has been shown by the letter g. While in case of solid, that is to be shown by S, and in case of liquid, it is to be indicated by the letter L. The coefficient 2, 4, O2 and S2O are called stoichiometric coefficients. Similarly, the coefficient for methane and CO2 is 1 each. According to the above chemical reaction, one molecule of methane react with two molecules of oxygen to give one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. One mole of methane react with two mole of oxygen to give one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water. As in liquid case, 22.7 liter that is equal to one mole in case of liquids of methane react with 45.5 liter of oxygen to give 22.7 liter of carbon dioxide and 45.4 liter of water. 16 gram of CH4 react with 32 into 2 gram of oxygen to give 44 gram of carbon dioxide and 2 into 18 gram of H2O. From these relationship, the given data can be converted as follow mass into moles and moles into number of molecules. These are interchangeable within each other. Density is equal to mass upon volume. Example, calculate the amount of water produced by the combustion of 16 gram of methane. The balance equation for the combustion of methane is CH4 plus O2 gives twice of CO2 plus twice of H2O as all reactants and products are in gaseous form. As the information can be converted, number 1, 16 gram of CH4 correspond to 1 mole. From the above equation, 1 mole of CH4 gives 2 moles of H2O. 2 moles of water is equal to 2 into 2 plus 16 is equal to 36 gram. Now the limiting reagents. Many times, the reactions are carried out when the reactant are not present in the amount as required by a balanced chemical reaction. In such situation, one reactant is over the other, the reactant which present in lesser amount get consumed. After some time, no reaction take place, whatever be the amount of the other reactant present. Hence, the reactant which get consumed limits the amount of products formed called limiting reagent. Reactions in solutions. Most of the reactions in laboratories are carried out in solutions. So, it is important to know how the amount of substance is expressed when it is present in the form of a solution. The concentration of the solution or the amount of the substance present in its given volume can be expressed in any of the following ways. Number 1, mass percentage or weight percent. Number 2, mole fraction. Number 3, molarity. Number 4, molality. 
as the first point mass percent. The formula is mass percent is mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100. Example, a solution prepared by adding 2 gram of a substance A to 18 gram of water calculate the mass percentage of solute. It can be solved as mass of solute is equal to 2 gram, mass of solvent is equal to 18 gram and mass of the solution which is the mixture of solute plus solvent is 18 plus 2 is equal to 20 gram. So, mass percentage of A is equal to mass of A upon mass of solution into 100. It will be 2 gram divided by 20 into 100 is equal to 10 percent. Mole fraction. It is the ratio of number of moles of a particular component to the total number of moles of the solution. As if a substance A dissolve in substance B and their number of moles are N A and N B respectively. Then the mole fraction of A and B are given as mole fraction of A is equal to number of moles of A upon number of moles of solution as N A divided by N A plus N B. Mole fraction of B component will be number of moles of B divided by number of moles of solution as N B is equal to N B upon N A plus N B. Molarity it is defined as the number of moles of the solute in 1 liter of the solution. It is denoted by the letter m. Hence, molarity capital M is equal to number of moles of solute upon volume of the solution in liters. Suppose we have 1 m solution of NaOH that is sodium hydroxide. 1 m NaOH means 1 mole of NaOH present in 1 liter of the solution. Example, how much volume of concentrated 1 m NaOH solution will be taken which contains 0 0.2 moles of NaOH can be calculated. 1 mole present in 1 liter or 1000 ml milliliter, then 0 0.2 mole is present is equal to 1000 ml divided by 1 mole into 0 0.2 that will be equal to 200 ml. So, 200 ml of 1 m NOH are taken and the enough water is added to dilute it to make it 1 liter. For such calculations, a general formula is also used that is m1 into v1 is equal to m2 into v2. Where M and V are molarity and volume respectively can be used. We will take example like calculate the molarity of NaOH in the solution prepared by dissolving its 4 gram in enough water to form 250 ml of the solution such as molarity is equal to number of moles of solute upon volume of the solution in liters. So, in step first number of moles, mass of NaOH upon molar mass of NaOH that is 4 upon 40 is equal to 1 by 10 or is equal to 0 0.1 mole. Step second applying the formula of molarity that is 0 0.1 upon 250 is equal to 0 0.4 mole per liter. So, the final answer will be 0 0.4 m. Now, the next is molality. It is defined as the number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent denoted by the letter small m. Molality small m is equal to number of moles of solute upon mass of solvent in kg that is kilogram. Example, the density of 3 m solution of NaCl is 1.25 gram per ml calculate molality of the solution. In this case, we have taken the 3 mole. So, m is equal to 3 mole per liter mass of NaCl solution 3 into 58.5 is equal to 175.5 gram. Mass of 1 liter solution is equal to 1000 into 1.25 is equal to 1250 gram. 
मास ऑफ वाटर इन सोल्यूशन वन टू फाइव जीरो माइनस वन सेवन फाइव पॉइंट फाइव इसकल टू वन जीरो सेवन फोर पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम सो मोलैलिटी नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सॉल्यूट अपॉन मास ऑफ द सॉल्वेंट इन के जी नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ द सॉल्यूट थ्री मोल मास ऑफ द सॉल्वेंट इन के जी इज वन जीरो सेवन फोर पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइड बाई वन थाउजेंड दैट इज वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फोर किलोग्राम अप्लाइंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मोलैलिटी एम इजकल टू थ्री अपॉन वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फोर इजकल टू टू पॉइंट सेवन नाइन मोल With this, we have completed the first this chapter. That is some basic concept of chemistry. In this chapter, we have studied about the different concept like dimensional analysis, significant figures, mole concept, different laws of chemical combinations, and different types of uh, numericals and calculations. That is uh, including molarity and molality. That's all. Thank you.